Welcome back, everyone. You probably read the headline and thought it was clickbait. Well, no, it isn't. And in fact, it's much worse with the host not only calling for a shadow government before an election, but also suggesting that it should be militarized. These people hate guns, unless of course they're guns being used to force their agenda on the country through a militarized armed coup. Joe Biden, in personal terms, the kind of leader he would be, that contrast is really important right now. And then do they need to do it in a bigger way? You What did you just call it? The President's Daily Clown Show? That's his press briefing. Should mm -hmm. Joe Biden be counter-programming that? Should he be creating his own shadow government, shadow cabinet, shadow SWAT team and getting up there at a podium every night saying, here's the crisis we're in, here's what we need to do to address this. Yes, you heard correctly. She wants Biden and Obama to have a shadow government complete with an armed military force to apparently take over as if they're the ones in charge before we even have an election. Honestly, this deeply concerns me because it's yet another hint that these people are going to use this virus to advance their agenda one way or the other. And this MSNBC host's mind, the Democrats need to go bigger by staging an armed coup. How is this not treason? How is this not a direct attack on our democratic institutions? Speaking of that, can you even believe that this hack for the last four years has been accusing Trump and his supporters of being Russian agents and attacking our democracy? What she's advocating for right now is an attack on our democracy. Yes, yes, I know we're a republic. Yeah. But lots of people don't get into the argument. They just go, Oh my gosh, socialist, I can't have that. It's going to take all my money. And I Let me tell you, there's one country in this world that would love for nothing more than for the Democrats and the media to launch an armed coup. It's becoming increasingly clear that our media and possibly even the Democrat Party have been compromised by China. We'll get right back to exposing the Chinese state media, but first I have a very important message about your retirement from this video sponsor, Orion Metal Exchange. What will your savings in retirement look like once we've declared victory over the virus? Did you know that it took nearly eight years for the markets to recover after the 2008 housing bubble crash? Yet during the crash of 2008, gold and silver surged to all time highs. Do you really have eight years to wait for a recovery? Many Americans use this little known IRS qualified loophole that allows Americans to buy gold and silver with their retirement accounts. And the good guys at Orion Metal Exchange offer a no fee transfer in as little as two days on most accounts. Bank of America, Goldman Sachs, and Citigroup all see gold soaring, forecasting $2,000 an ounce for gold. Orion Metal Exchange is Consumer Affairs top rated gold IRA dealer. At Orion, you get more precious metals for your money. Call today and request a free investment kit below. Mention Drone Tech Politics and get a free one ounce silver coin for qualified retirement account holders. Must be over 40 to qualify. Call 866-915-915. 5053 and get your free investment guide today. At Orion, you get more precious metals for your money every day. In regards to Stephanie Rule specifically, just look at how she reacted when Marco Rubio called out the media for being China's lab dog and carrying their water. With all due respect, sir, you're not immune to finger pointing yourself. Earlier this week, you called out people that share my job. I need to ask you this because I'm a journalist. <laughs> We're not just some uh, 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 personalities. You called out journalism. And I need to understand why on earth you did this. Oh, come on now. CNN just posted an article that was word for word straight from a Chinese military propaganda piece, cheerleading the PLA and claiming that they, quote, did a much better job controlling the coronavirus than the U.S. Navy. Just look at these two excerpts from each article and tell me which one came from the Chinese military. On top of that, Chinese state media actually produced a propaganda video using the words of U.S. journalists and clips from CNN and MSNBC to deflect blame for this outbreak and attack America. Why do you keep calling this the Chinese virus? Why do you keep using this? A lot it of comes say from it's China. Racist. It is easy to scapegoat people, and that is what has always happened when there have been pandemics or epidemics. The word coronavirus crossed out and changed to Chinese. Who does that help? We don't need an enemy. We Trump doesn't need to slide blame. This isn't about China. 
media has literally become the propaganda arm of the Communist Party in China. I've always warned that the left is particularly dangerous because of their willingness to rationalize any action to get what they want. That's why you should be concerned when the media and Democrats start calling Trump and his supporters an existential threat. Because you can justify just about anything to deal with an existential threat. That's what we're seeing right now. We got the Democrat Party and their media aligning with America's greatest adversary, calls for armed coups by presidential candidates before an election, and censorship of all dissent. Going forward over the next few weeks, be ready for anything. That's all for this episode. Please hit that like button. It really helps the videos. Share and subscribe. If you enjoy my content and you want to support my mission, please consider subscribing to me on one of these platforms. You can find all the links in the description or pinned comment. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back. Oh, 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 oh,